Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be from my Sagittarius. And this is going to be from the 5th through the 9th of September. I will be using my Affirmators Tarot deck. Mm, excuse me. And to clarify, I'll be using my Neoteric Feminine deck. So, Sagittarius, let's see what messages we have for you. So Sagittarius, this is for you. The Five of Swords, not too long ago, there was conflict in your environment. The Six of Swords, but then things started calming down. Then the Seven of Swords, then you feel, now you feel like if you're trapped. No, 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 no. You feel that there's lies and deceit around you. That's what you're feeling. The High Priestess, use your intuition. The Emperor, this might be an energy in your environment, an energy that's stable, someone that you can turn to in your time of need and when you need some help, maybe they're there, whether it's advise you or help you. Um, well, helping is advice. The Queen of Wands, this is you, Sagittarius. The Six of Pentacles, financial balance or giving and receiving. The Page of Swords, what are you on the alert for? The Hermit, you need to go within and find the answers. So let's see the Five of Swords. <laughs> top of the five of swords there's the knight of swords there's the four of pentacles and there's the knight of cups so not too long ago there was some kind of shift in your environment it might have had to do with money it seems like you're a little off balance with money that you're holding on really tight to what you do have and only spending what you need to spend um the knight of cups it could be that um someone may be coming in to offer some advice or to offer some gifts so you got the Knight of Pen the Knight of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. Then you got the Six of Swords. Calm water. Now this was above the conflicts. So it may might have caused money might have caused the conflicts. So now you're moving away to calmer waters, but then you got the devil, you got the two pentacles, and you got the lovers. There's something unhealthy with this love, okay, that's around you. Um, this is not a healthy relationship for you. It makes you feel very off balance here. Um, but you have choices, okay, and that's why you feel trapped here. One minute you feel like there's an argument, then you feel like things are calm. You got the devil here, you got the two pentacles, you're off balance, and then you got the lovers like things are all okay. But the thing about this is, I don't think it is. When do you know the situation? Now, mind you, this is past energy, so this could be things in the past, okay? The Seven of Swords is not that far in the past, I don't think. The Seven of Swords, um, whatever tied you up or whatever lies or deceit you feel that's around you, um... I think I think you're going to start seeing your way clearly, 
okay? I got the Chariot, I got the Empress, and I got the Ace of Wands. You're going to be inspired. You're going to be inspired to create something new, um, have new ideas. Um, there is abundance around you. Now, there is the Empress. Now, this could be I got the Empress and I got the Ace of Wands here. I got the Chariot. Now, this could be pregnancy. I don't know if that's why you're going to feel all tied up, but you need to um, pay attention. Okay, so you got the chariot, you got the empress, which could be pregnancy or abundance of all sorts. Love, money, anything. Joy, happiness. And then you got the ace of wands there. New beginnings or something. New inspiration. It could also mean fertility. Use your intuition. The, the high priestess on top of the high priestess. You got the five of pentacles. You got the knight of pentacles. And you got the seven of swords again. Okay, there's some kind of lie around you. You need to start strategizing. There's some cunning energy and sneaky energy around you. You got the five of pentacles here. This is the mindset of lack. Um, you got the knight of pentacles. Uh, you, you have a routine down and it's slow and it's steady. But there is some kind of deceit and some kind of lies around you. I'm not sure what it is. Only you know your situation. You got the Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. Okay. So then you got the Emperor. On top of the Emperor is the World card, the Three of Pentacles, and the Sun. Something is going to come, you're going to accomplish something successfully. The universe is building something for you, some kind of teamwork or partnership. It could be maybe the emperor is going to give you, or this energy is going to give you some kind of ideas on what to do, and maybe it'll help you with your stability. At least it's going to help you with your happiness. So you got the world, you got the three of pentacles, and you got the sun card. And that's on top of the emperor. And then you got the queen of wands. On top of the queen of wands... You got the Queen of Pentacles, which is an Earth energy. You got the King of Wands, which is a Fire energy. I will say that is you, Sagittarius. And I got and then you got the Ace of Pentacles here. So you got some kind of new opportunity, some kind of opportunity that will bring in prosperity and abundance, security and stability. And you've been manifesting this. Um, first things first, you got to clear up all this negativity. You know the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords energy, okay? And you will see the happiness come in. It's gonna come. Now the Queen of um, Pentacles, they handle the money. This is the energy. This is a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Um, and then you are next to them, the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, some kind of new opportunity. Or maybe you know how to handle the money, and maybe you're gonna have your wishes come true. Never know. Let's see. The Six of Pentacles is about balance. You got the Five of Swords. They got arguments. You got the Death card. But you need to have some patience. And you also need to learn balance. You need to find balance in your environment. Balance and moderation. You need to find. You got their arguments. There are a lot of arguments in your environment. There's a change coming though. And you are going to do some self-evaluation. You got the Page of Swords here. On the Page of Swords, you're being alert. You're on the lookout for something. The Six of Swords, you want to move to calmer waters. Oh, you want to leave something behind here. You got the Page of Swords on top of the Page of Swords here. You're very alert. And you got the Hangman. And this energy is making you feel kind of stuck. And you might feel the delays are, delays are all around. You got the Six of Swords. You, you're, you're desiring calmer waters. You're on the alert for calmness in your environment. So then you got the Hermit. On top of the Hermit, we got the Ace of Cups, we got the Five of Cups, and we got the Moon. Well, the Ace of Cups is about new feelings and new loves, or awakening your um, creativity, um, your spirituality, or your intuition. Um, the Five of Cups is about loss and grief and disappointment. And the Moon, you, you're not seeing things clearly right now. I don't know why. Let's see if I have time to pull a few more cards. You got the Ace of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Moon. And then you got the Page of Cups, your head is in the clouds. You need to start using your intuition. And the Eight of Pentacles. You're very skilled and talented at whatever it is that you're doing. You're going to start seeing, seeing things clearly. You just need to start trusting yourself. And you need to start using your intuition. You really and truly do. And you need to start seeing things the way they are. Okay, darlings, I love you so very much. You take care and I will chat with you soon. Bye.